Hello sweet soul, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. Um, today I don't have a really good spot to film a video so I've decided to just kind of try it like this in my bedroom. Uh, so I hope you can hear and see me well. Um, also like bending down a little bit because <laughs> I don't have my statute uh, for my uh, camera. But I'm gonna try to do it like this. And I wanted to take, like I was asking myself today, I really wanted to make another video for people struggling with DPDR and existential fears or anxiety or trauma or anything. And I was really just asking myself, what do I think that someone who's struggling really needs right now? Like what is something that could really help anyone and everyone that is struggling? So I've decided to just teach you guys a very practical, uh, simple tool that you can use if things just get too overwhelming, if things just get too hectic, if you feel like you can't handle it anymore, or if you just want to feel some kind of relief from the bad feelings you're having from both the anxiety or the discomfortness of feeling DPDR. Um, this video is for you and I really, really hope this um, that you will get something from this. So just to make sure to give you guys some information, uh, for those that are looking for some kind of tool to really, really extensively help them, I have an online course. Here's my dog saying hi. Arturo! Hey baby! So I, as I was saying, uh, I have a existential anxiety DPDR recovery course for people that struggle with anxiety and uh, panic attacks and feelings of DPDR. So uh, if you really, really want to look for something that can help you really recover and get out, I really recommend and suggest you keep, go take a look. There's a lot of positive reviews there from people who have been able to recover. So I am really, really confident that it can help you as well. So I'll put a link in the... <laughs> in the description. So the tool I want to teach you today is very simple. It's not so much a meditation, it's more a way of handling intense emotions or intense feelings. And it goes like this. You're just gonna sit up or stand or wherever you are. And whenever things get too overwhelmed or too, like for example, some example that I get from a lot of people is the example of like being in nature or somewhere at the dinner table, like a place that really triggers intense feelings of DPDR for you or anxiety or whatever it is. And I want you to train yourself instead of the, the way we normal normally react is to create a kind of panicky response by really focusing on everything we're feeling and resisting that. So saying, oh, I'm feeling this, this is weird, I don't want this, I want this to go away, kind of fighting that, this, which adds more stress, which makes the feelings more intense. This is a principle I've talked about a lot of times. So what you're going to do instead is you're just going to sit and completely accept the present moment exactly the way it is. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to look at everything we feel, every emotion, every sensation, every kind of weird thing we perceive as neutral we're just gonna accept it the way it is don't call it good don't call it bad don't say it needs to go away don't say there's something wrong with me you're just gonna sit there and just perceive everything just really up closely just observe it and allow it to be exactly as it is don't try to fight any kind of feeling any, any kind of uh, thought any kind of emotion just sit there Pretend you're at the dinner table, pretend you're sitting on a bench in the park, pretend you're taking a walk. And instead of going into the cycle of resisting and fighting and being afraid of everything you're feeling, you're just going to stop being scared of everything that's going on in your mind and going on in your body. So I want to show this to you. So we're just going to close our eyes for a second. Just go along with me. It's only going to take a few minutes. So I want you to close your eyes and be sure to sit somewhere where you're comfortable. And I want you to envision like a specific situation you normally go to uh, or you normally have a lot of intense emotions. Um, so just take your time to find a specific situation from this week or from today where you felt really, really uncomfortable. And now I want you to go to this situation, pretend you're sitting in the exact same spot, feel yourself sitting or standing there again or lying there again. And I want you to witness 
that first response that you have of trying to fight it, trying to fight the feelings, trying to fight the thoughts, trying to panic in everything that's happening. Just become aware of that first. And instead, we're now going to decide to not do that anymore. We're not going to fight. We're not going to resist. Instead, I want you to just observe everything you're feeling and everything you're thinking like it's neutral. It's not good. It's not bad. It's not something to run away from. It's not your enemy. It just is. Just for one moment, just watch everything completely as it is and allow it to be the way it is. Don't fight it. And completely surrender to this present moment with everything it brings, every sensation, every thought, every emotion, every perception. You just allow it to be completely as it is, just for this moment. And I want you to feel what this surrender feels like. How good it feels to just let go for one second. And just let everything be the way it is. And every thought that you have that wants you to resist is also a thought you can just neutrally observe and allow. Now see yourself sitting here. Focus on how you feel right now. And ask yourself, do the feelings that I'm having bother me so much as they did five minutes ago? And if not, if they don't bother you as much anymore, do I still need to fight this right now? Or can I just carry on like this? In acceptance. And I want you to know that this way of handling these emotions, this way of handling your discomfort, is actually the way to make your feelings go away. It's not the intention we need to use to do this exercise with because then we're still doing it in resistance but recovering from dpdr is all about de-stressing your entire system making sure that your body and your mind and your brain knows that it's safe and therefore acceptance is so important learning to watch everything with a neutral attitude is so magical because when we watch something and we let it be exactly the way it is. We signal to our brain that there's no danger and that we don't need to fight. And then your brain can also just let these stress, um, the stress go. So I hope this exercise helped for you. I want you to practice this just in any kind of circumstance that you are with family, with friends, alone in the park, whatever kind of triggers you. Practice this kind of neutrality and acceptance of life exactly the way it is when you're in a situation like this and it i promise you that it helps a lot so wishing you all the best take a look at my course if you really really want to go deeper into this uh, recovery journey you're always welcome to follow me on instagram for daily tips and tricks concerning anxiety recovery and just general mental health tips and i always like to get messages and comments from you guys saying how you're doing what progress you're making um so i know kind of which videos uh which posts i can keep making so really thank you for being here today i wish you a really good weekend as well and i hope to see you next time bye love you